Here is the first array question on C++. Get an array input and print the array in reverse order. Create the code file. I am starting with a base main function. Defining the array length variable and prompting the user to enter array length value. Getting the value from standard input with C in. And here we are defining the array. Getting the array values with for loop. Prompting the user to enter value for each array item. Reading a value into array item. And here we are printing the array in reverse order. Let's review the entire code again. Let's run it and test it. And here is the result we expect. Here is the second question. Sum values of an array and print the sum to the output. Creating another file and I am copying the getting array input code from the last one. Defining the sum variable. Iterating on the array and add the values of array into some variable on each cycle. And finally, print the sum value to the output. Run the code and let's see if we get the expected result. Yes. Here is the third question. Array copying. Defining the copy array with the same length of the original array. Iterate over the array and assign the same values to copy array. And finally print the output. You can format the code to make it look better. We have an error here. Let's fix it and try again. Done. Let's continue with another question. Count duplicates of values of an array and print them to the output.
clear the unrelated parts. Define the duplicate count array to hold the count values. Assign one to each count because each item occurs at least once, right? And here we are writing nested for loops to iterate on array and comparing its values. If items are same and indexes are different, that means that is a duplicate. And finally, print the output. Let's review the code. Variable definitions are here and incrementing the duplicate counts is here and here we are printing the output. Test with some example arrays and yes. Okay, done. Let's move on. The last question is a bit more complex. We will do a 3x3 three three matrix multiplication here. Start with a base main function. Define matrix variables, matrix A, matrix B, and the matrix result. Prompt user to enter values for matrix. We need nested for loops to get values for a 3x3 three three matrix. Because we will get matrix values twice for matrix A and for matrix B, let's extract here to a function and call that function to prevent code duplications. Rename the matrix variable in the function to a general one. Let's do matrix multiplication in a separate function.
This function will get three parameters. One for matrix A, one for matrix B, and one for the matrix result. And again, we need some nested loops here also to calculate some. And from the definition of matrix multiplication, here we are multiplying the related values of matrix A and matrix B and adding the result to sum. And finally assigning the sum value to matrix result. Okay, let's review the code again. Matrix variable definitions, getting matrix values from input and multiplying matrices. And finally here we are printing the result to output. And we have a problem. Compiler couldn't detect the multiply matrices function. We need to move this function above the main function. Okay, try again. Let's enter some matrix values and see the matrix result. Yes, it's done. Thank you for watching, see you on next video.